I got into acting in high school. I was uh, a thespian and got into that. You know, traveled traveled around with the the theater troupe of Pensbury, and uh, actually one of my the one teacher that I had throughout my entire schooling that really meant something to me. This is you know somebody I do love. <laughs> uh, and sadly passed, sadly passed away though, before I could hang out with him as an adult, no, uh, which was sad, but he was a, uh, Mr. Hallman, Bill Hallman. And I had him for eighth grade social studies, which was still a class that I don't know if they have that anymore, but he was a, also the, the, the theater director of the, uh, the middle school. And I remember, you know, he had just, just a, an unbelievably Great sense of humor, very wry, very dry, very to the point. But I remember in this class, we were at social studies, and he literally comes up, and I'm going to sound like a douchebag saying this. People are going to roll their eyes, but I swear to God, it's true. He comes up to my best friend and I, who had the class together, and he goes, look, you guys are too smart for this class, what we're doing. Go do another project. Let me know what you want to work on, and just we'll do that. We'll figure something out. So we're like, oh, great. So we did that, because it was just, you know, geography and maths bullshit. So he took a shining to us and I became very friendly, you know, with, with him. And he mentored me as an actor for a little while. And then we, we stayed in touch, just kind of, you know, joking around. I'd see him when I would see him around campus and I actually reconnected with him on Facebook after I graduated several years later, after I moved to Los Angeles, I saw Bill Hallman and I said, Oh shit. So I messaged him. We start to talk and, uh, and catch up. And, and, Sadly, as I said, we were going to hang out if I get, got back to my hometown and my parents don't live there anymore and my sister doesn't. So he passed away uh, about four years ago before we could actually get together and have a drink. But, you know, we'd had a very long Facebook conversations and um, it was uh, a rare, I'd say of, of all the teachers, I said the one guy that really made an impact that was palpable and tangible and uh, and gave me a different outlook was, was Bill Hallman. So... Wow. Yeah. Very so cool. he, he got me into the acting world. Yeah. Wow. I appreciate you sharing that. And the, and the reason I was laughing as you were telling me that he passed away is because I was just thinking like, that's kind of like even my experience to some degree. I remember I had like a media arts teacher who I got along with, not the relationship that you had or nearly mm -hmm. as inspiring and helpful personally, but like elements of, of that. But like, yeah, like the most high school teachers are not very no. memorable and you don't have that personal connection with them and I, i'm trying not to say that in a judgmental way but well you know what i will i will i will it's true i'll man. say it's i'll blame the system we're gonna blame the system for that one how about that so i won't even put it on the teachers because it's yeah. all about incentives obviously as we we know <laughs> with anything yeah. exactly i mean i do think there's a lot of that that happens where yeah there's there's no incentive to be great because there's nothing really you know, there's no threat if you're not great. And it takes, a, it takes special people that really love what they're doing. And, and maybe, you know, like I said, maybe, maybe it's him finding a couple kids that he goes, all right, this, these kids are different, you know, and that's where he gets uh, entertained. <laughs> finding two, <laughs> finding two doofuses that make him laugh. And they got a hey, doofus, right. go, it do, was go to, do a was, project it, over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're, you were giving him something new to, to, to make the job yeah. a little bit more interesting for him versus like seeing right? these droning children who are just wanting to go to lunch and play football, whatever. Like, I don't right. know, just yeah. don't, not be in class, <laughs> be anywhere yeah. else. That way all of us don't have to just go through the motions. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, yes, about Penn state. So actually, you know, getting to acting, that's what got me into Penn state main campus. What inspired you to get into acting in the first place? It sounds like your personality type in a lot of ways leading up to acting, yeah. but was there a moment? Was there an act? Like what, what you said you like comics, but were, what kind of, were you into movies or uh, com comedy at that point in high school or anything like that also? Um, good question. That leads us back actually to my father. So my father, you know, really, really impactful on my life in many ways. My mother was too in, in different, in a different fashion, but my father, you know, also was an actor, um, you know, he was in Man of La Mancha back when he was in his younger days. He also went to Penn State, um, as did I'm about three generations deep in, in Penn State. Um, my, wow. Everybody on my father's side of the family all went to Penn State. So I had that connection. But he would, when I was coming up, you know, he would often find movies. This is back when you had TV Guide. We had HBO. We had the set-top box and the, uh, the HBO that you got through the little black cheat box. 
And he would spot and say, okay, this is a great movie. He was a big movie buff. He went to Temple for film. And uh, as I said, worked in the industry and, and was his own producer and had his own company. So called Image Makers, Image Makers International. So he would, you know, say, all right, you stay up late and you watch these movies, you know, and, and it would be kind of our bonding thing. We'd watch movies together. And sometimes my sister would watch. Most of the time she'd be off kind of doing her own thing. And um, through that, I had a real appreciation for film and uh, comedy. We'd watch a lot of, you know, the old comic relief specials when they were on HBO. And uh, we'd watch Dennis Miller together when he had his HBO show. And of course, Norm MacDonald was a regular, one of my all-time favorite comedians of all time. Probably my, actually, probably my absolute favorite comedian uh, is Norm MacDonald, rest in peace. So that, again, all very much crafted and shaped my passion for comedy, my passion for film, uh, for stand-up humor, and shaped a lot of what I find funny and, you know, the, even the, probably the delivery of how I, I talk. So that led me into acting. And I'll never forget, my first play I was in was Fiddler on the Roof. I was Fiedka the Russian, uh, who falls in love with the Jewish girl. And you know, one of the earlier shows, my parents come and I come off stage and uh, I'm all excited and I go, all right, what do you think, dad? And my dad goes, ah, you weren't that great. And he was being completely honest with me. By wow. The way. And I was like, what an asshole. Thank you, dad. What a dick. Wow. But no, it made me was there get better. Was there any constructive criticism ensuing? I, I'm, yeah, I, I'm sure there was, this was in a busy lobby. So I think later on, I was like, what the fuck, you know, uh, what do you mean? But there was later and, and, you know, he would give me some constructive criticism and, and throughout my life has given me constructive criticism, even to my latest podcast, you know, he'll give me constructive criticism. So, <laughs> that means but, you're listening. I, yeah. Well, I mean, I, look, I give him credit because one of the problems I have with a lot of parents today, uh, and probably the previous couple of generations is they don't tell their kids their honest truth and you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, but at the same time, it's going to make your kid either get better, work harder and get stronger and be able to take criticism, which yeah. it seems nobody can do now, or they might just suck and they should do something else. You know, if my daughter sucks balls at something, I'm going to be like, look, honey, maybe try something different. You know, you've, you've worked hard on this and it's not working out. Do something else. 